Once upon a time, there was an organization called the Arts Incubator. It's gone now, but one of the programs that was developed there is still around. It's called Hello Art. Its mission is to connect the people who make art, the performing as well as the visual kind, with people who might want to consume it. Sounds simple enough, mm -hmm. but there's still a lot of work for their one paid staff member <laughs> and a whole lot of volunteers. Our story about Hello Art starts on a recent First Friday, complete with a view from the 22nd floor. Anything's possible on First Friday. You know, that's what's so fun about being here is you have a bunch of people who don't necessarily get to be creative by day, getting out and exploring the arts. Some people will say that exploring the arts can be intimidating. We like to take the intimidation out of it. A lot of people have never tried First Friday before. A lot of our guests have never been to the crossroads before. So that's one of the great things about uh, the way Hello Art is structured. We partner with a corporate sponsor and then they bring 50 to 100 guests of theirs on a first Friday who get to maybe experience it for the first time ever. Welcome aboard. Welcome. Down at ground level, hopping aboard the Hello Art trolley brings several distinctive advantages. Easy parking in the Lathrop and Gage garage is one. Getting the inside scoop from a savvy pair of slicker sporting tour guides is another. The show that we are trying to get you all to go to tonight is called Pom Pom. It's at Front Space, which is... Our trolley docents are phenomenal. They do the legwork, they find out about the show, they allow people to know before they arrive at a destination what they are about to see. And then when they get back onto the trolley, then have someone to talk to. Hello Art is all about facilitating dialogue between people who might not necessarily feel comfortable having critical art discussion. Someone just actually reminded me of the last time I did this, there was a show that we went to that nobody liked the work, and we all talked about that, and everyone was relieved when we were like, we didn't really like it either. We try to offer some information that will make people feel a little more comfortable going up to the artist, and then the artist feels that these people already have a bit of an idea of what's going on with their artwork. Hi. How's it going? We've been referred to as a matchmaker, uh, as a concierge. Good to see you. Um, yeah, we, we it's you. easier to do something that you know is already vetted for you. Uh, when your time is precious and valuable, you want to make sure that you're showing up in the right place on a first Friday or that you're going to land in a place that is worth your time. Like the old Rosedale Fire Station on Southwest Boulevard site of a recent Hello Art studio tour with sculptor and painter Tom Corbin. A lot of people still think I'm doing the highly representational work that I started out doing, like the Firefighters Memorial and the pieces of Coffin Gardens and things like that. I don't do as many representational pieces like I used to, and maybe that disappoints some people, but I, I like a new challenge. I'm heavily influenced by the Giacometti brothers and uh, African art, and I think it does have a pretty positive vibe in most cases. People don't feel like they have the access. They don't feel like they have the invitation. How often do we just call up an artist and say, hey, I'd like to do a studio visit with you? Well, a lot of artists would love it if somebody did that, uh, but instead we do that and we do it for a group and it makes it worth the artist's time. Hearing their take on what they think uh, inspired me to do something, where it can be totally different, but I, I like what they thought. I said, well, that's pretty cool. The thing about Hello Art that I love is that it's organic. It's not staged, it's not directed. So I just step back and I document it and I watch people in that moment of discovery and that's, that's the joy of it. To truly be a great art city, it's, it can't all be on the artists. It also has to be on the audience and we have a role in helping them be successful. Of course, wine plays a pretty good role in helping break down barriers, too. And just like about everything involved with Hello Art events, it's been donated. In fact, the Hotel Phillips not only donates office space to the group, but also a part of the proceeds every time someone stays in this room. The so-called AIR suite 
designed by their current artist-in-residence, Madeline Gallucci. Whether it's a hotel or hospital, lab or law firm, Jander has found that corporate KC is surprisingly enthused about embracing the arts, and at times showing off some pretty impressive collections of their own. As for those distinctive name tags that seem to be popping up around town more and more frequently. It's a conversation starter. Hello Art, we've never done any publicity, never done any advertising. It's all word of mouth, and that's one of the best ways to get people to strike up a conversation about what's going on, and our members are our best ambassadors. When it comes to our events, the one thing that I love is that you will have people from all walks of life together in the same room who in their daily lives have absolutely nothing in common. But when they're together for a Hello Art event, they find out that they actually do have more in common than they might have realized. And there's something to talk about. The art is the center. That's the thing that weaves everyone together.